Sotto Voce is an exhibition really seeks to examine the interconnectivity between artists from Europe, North America, and South America, united by the common theme of abstract white relief. Each of the 26 works of art in the exhibition have a unique discourse with the viewer through the use of medium or scale or three-dimensionality, highlighting the individual lines and shadows. Whether using materials revered for centuries such as marble or canvas, or in the case of Ben Nichols and Mahogany, other artists reverted to using an array of industrial materials, such as nails or styrofoam balls or household paint or even found wood assemblages. When hung together, these works exude a unifying sense of calm and reflection, while still feeling the individual palpitations of the work, the sotto voce, or the softly speaking narrative. This, to me, imbues a poetic rhythm and continuity between the works that is really what we're striving for in the exhibition. Through travel, letters, exhibitions, and literature, these artists often found influences among the varying generations. One of the most notable examples and what really began to allow our concept to germinate was the artist Sergio Camargo. A Brazilian artist, he studied in Argentina under Lucio Fontana. Shortly after, he completed his White Manifesto, moved to Paris where he worked with artists such as Jean Arp, Henri Laurence, and Constantine Brancusi. He exhibited in London at the renowned Signals Gallery, worked in Carrara to experiment with marble, and even went as far as, as, as China in his travels before returning back to his native Brazil. This travel really allowed his work to evolve from mimetic representation to pure abstraction. This connection between countries and dialogue that was created is what this exhibition is really about. The color white in many ways acts as a cipher. It allows the works to speak all languages and takes down the barriers of the individual countries, creating a unifying voice. For me, this has been a wonderful opportunity now that the London Gallery is open and established. This was our first standalone exhibition and included a group of artists that myself and the rest of my colleagues are very passionate about. I hope at some point you have the opportunity to experience it yourself firsthand.